Okay, welcome along to another audio visual tutorial from David. Uh, this is on the Logitech conference camera. And here we have the conference camera. It has a built-in speaker and a built-in microphone, as well as echo cancellation. Um, the camera head at the top has got remote control and you can pan this, tilt this uh, and zoom it in and out. It consists of quite a few pieces and if you borrow it from us, uh, we're going to go through the individual pieces now. First of all, you have the base unit. You then have the camera head. There's this extension pole, which I suggest that you use to get the height up. And we've got a remote control for it. We've got the mains power for the unit, and we also have an optional um, USB power for it. So you can borrow this um, at any time from the IT department. As you can see, it consists of six pieces, uh, and we would like all six pieces back. And it comes back to us. What we're going to look at now is um, how to assemble it together. So this is the extension pole. Um, as you can see at this end, it is keyed. Um, please be careful. I mean, this is robust, but um, you could also break it quite easily. So you see that's a keyed end. And at the other end of the extension pole, it's um, smooth around the edges. Now, this end actually goes into the camera head. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take the camera head here and if you look in the end of the camera head you can see there's a female mini USB socket and what we're going to do is just plug that together and that's that bit done. Now this is a base as you can see it's got a keyed section um, which fits the other end of the extension pole so just make sure you've got that right around and that should just clip in nicely, make sure that's pushed in and all tight, otherwise it won't work properly. So there we have it, that's um, the unit fully assembled. What we need to do now is uh, put in some power. As you can see in the back of the base unit, you have uh, the power socket input. Now there's a couple of options um, with regards to power. Firstly, you can just power it from mains power, if you've got a socket nearby. Um, you just plug in the socket into the back of it and uh, you can get your power from there. The other option is if you're using a, a PC and you have two USB ports that are free on it, um, you can actually take USB power. Um, the only thing to note with this is that you have to plug in both connectors. So you've got the USB power socket, but um, actually on the back of the unit, um, You've also got this other USB which will carry all the data, so both of them must be plugged in if you're powering using USB. So we also have the remote control, and on the remote control you have um, plus and minus magnifiers for zooming in and out. You have an up, down, left, right keypad for a uh, panning and tilting the camera. Uh, the button in the bottom middle meets the microphone, and the buttons left and right of that actually turn the volume up and down. Um, there is a hang up and a call buttons on the top. I've never managed to get that to work with Skype. Perhaps it'll work with uh, some other video conference uh, software programs. So here's a few do's and don'ts uh, for you. Um, have a wee read through these. Uh, I've mentioned most of them before. One of the last things I want to mention is at the bottom of that don't, please don't physically twist the camera head as this will break it. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.